The countdown is on to the All Blacks World Cup opener against South Africa on Saturday night. And as they battle to train through the heat in Ka- Kashiwa, there's also the pressure of trying to win a third World Cup in a row. Half a dozen countries believe they can win rugby's ultimate prize, hosted in Japan for the first time. Rugby reporter Joe Porter found out what it's like to be part of the biggest showpiece in the sport. Barrett is chasing. He's got poke off for speed. This is Bowden Barrett, control this, and the cup is his. The 2015 World Cup was really Dan Carter's, but this year it is Bowden Barrett who'll be expected to deliver another title and he'll cop a lot of the vitriol should the All Blacks fail. He's one of the star faces of the tournament and he says it's best to embrace that burden. It's probably best to accept that and, and take it as a compliment and, and walk towards it. Um, I think if you hide away from it, um, you know, it can't hinder you. you. I think you just have to embrace it and see it as a privilege and, and get excited about that challenge. And he says Carter is always just a phone call away. He'd be the perfect guy to talk to if, if um, yeah, I feel the need to have a chat to him. And the good thing about Desi is he's, he's always there if I need to pick up the phone and have a talk to him. Someone else with plenty of World Cup experience is All Blacks coach Steve Hansen. He's already won two William Webb Ellis trophies, but he's more motivated than ever. Probably even more excited about this one. You know, we've got a massive opportunity to do something that's never been done before. Um, and that, obviously, that's to win three of them in a row, and that's the kind of pressure you want to be under. You want to be able to go there and have a crack at it. And, you know, and imagine if we manage to do that, how exciting that'll be, and you know, you've got to take it head on. It won't only be the All Blacks feeling that pressure with South Africa, Australia, Wales, England and Ireland all bullish about their chances. Hansen says the external expectations placed on those teams will be greater than ever and he believes the All Blacks' past successes and failures in coping with that kind of stress will serve them well. It's about handling the expectation. In 11 we just handled it, just. 15 we dealt with it pretty good because, you know, it helped because of 11. Go back and over time and, you know, we definitely didn't handle it. So uh, winning helps you handle that sort of stuff. Former All Black Christian Cullen agrees. He was part of the 1999 World Cup team that was dumped out by France in the semi-finals. Pretty shit. I mean, it was disbelief. Toughest part of probably was that was obviously the loss. How it was there, and in the space of 40 minutes, it was gone. You know, I don't think you want to be in a change room in an All Black team when there's a loss. It's not very nice. Did you feel like you wanted to just go away and bury your head in the sand or hide in a corner? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's happened a few times in my career, whether it's um, a missed tackle or a ball dropped over the line or, or losing in a semi-final. You want to find a spade and dig a hole somewhere and jump in it and hide. That's a situation the current All Blacks are desperate to avoid. While the World Cup is a swan song for Hansen and numerous players, he says now's not the time for sentiment trying very hard to stay focused on what we're trying to do which is coach a team to try and win a you know a third uh, world cup and when you retire you've got plenty of time to reminisce about all the stuff that's gone before you and you know, pat yourself on the back or give yourself an uppercut depending on how things go if the all blacks are to make history and win an unprecedented third straight crown they'll need to punch through that pressure with more force than ever more te hotaka o te ahipo nei core joe porter aho